All right, come in close here. I think terrestrialization is a great gimmick for battles, but has the worst visuals out of all of them. Yeah, that's right. If I wanted to play with hats, I'd play Team Fortress 2. Actually, I will now. Be right back. But, I mean, Megas were unique, but definitely made us have to play within constrained Pokemon. Especially if you didn't have any faves get a Mega, you'd still have to have a Mega on your team. Z moves were, well, to be honest, nothing. They're, even the animations weren't too great, but I just don't see them really as a gimmick that can stand up for all the other ones. And G-Max forms at least had unique forms, even if there were just Kaiju Pokemon for the normal forms, and we could at least G-Max every Pokemon. They were quite cool. So when I see that only Ogapon gets some unique forms, I wanted to try my hand at making some unique Terraforms for some of the starters. Comment down below what you think should happen with these unique forms. Should they just stay the same as normal Terra? Or just look different, or should they have some kind of unique thing to them, like special moves, or even stat boosts? Well, come take a look at my visions for terraforms of the most unique kind. All of these are taken from the Mighty Mark Terra Raids, as it felt like these combos definitely were made by Game Freak for a reason. We're gonna start with Game Freak's baby Charizard here, because of course we are. I'm actually doing a sneaky thing and making Charizard and one of a Pokemon here based off some beta designs. And for Charizard, I'm basing it off a beta mega form that it had that was seriously chin maxing and would have made Charizard a fave mega form in my eyes. So I'm going to take that and combine it with the dragon type terror it gets and also fuse it a little with the mega Charizard X here, as that gives it the dragon typing as well. I'm not going to fully show the beta design here. Just in case, uh, Puppy Game Freak wants to strike me down. I do think whether or not it would be smart to make it a Fire Dragon type Terra, or just make it Pure Dragon, because competitively it brings up a whole other slew of considerations if Terra was able to dual type. I love the sort of six-limbed, stocky look of the Beta Charizard, so being able to draw it in a new form was super fun. Instead of the big Swarovski hats we get with normal Terra, these Terraforms instead get a specific part of their body kind of reflecting on the type they have and turning it into kind of a crystalline form. I referenced this promo image of the Terra Eevee for the effect in all of these, and I think it works pretty well to reflect, <laughs> reflect crystals, I'm so funny, the sort of area zero crystal powers that it has. Here's Terra Charizard, possibly pure dragon or dragon fire type. Those crystal flames on his tail and mouth would still move about like fire, but would always be glimmering like crystals. Let's get our Gen 1 out. Although I didn't do Blastoise, which I may do in another video if this video is popular enough, wink wink. But I'm gonna do Venusaur with a rock type Terra here. I did this one before we saw them lead to Mega Venusaurs, but... Holy moly, did they look absolutely amazing in Grandpa Pilled. Go search them pretty much anywhere, because they are out there now. I didn't want to change the body too much here and focus on completely getting rid of the flower on top. Yeah, that's right, I'm returning him to pure frog type. His new terror type is rock and frog, of course. Here I went a little bit like a mix of Torterra and Venusaur, and added so the mountains now just kind of jut out from its back, covered in a bit of moss to make it almost look like mini forests surrounding these mountains, as if Venusaur itself is just gigantic. Well, now I'm good, just getting into Gigantamax, oops. Venusaur even has little plates of earth all over their body to make them look like they're kind of a continent with little islands all around and their body is that blue color that makes it look a bit like it's made out of water. Although Venusaur with a dual terror typing might have quite a few more weaknesses, I feel like Grass Rock would be a pretty good dual terror type for it, and it still does look pretty grassy. Terra Venusaur becomes the mountains themselves, gaining the rock terror type, or even Grass Rock. Look at them spires. Ooh, yeah, he's just rocking them. 
Let's jump over to Galar next with Rillaboom. Rillaboom got the normal terror type in his raid, which posed a unique mental challenge for me to think on what to do here. I fought some kind of goofy Super Saiyan Rillaboom, but the problem with that is it feels much, much more fighting type with Super Saiyan if I did do that. So instead I went with something even sillier and removed all those leafy follicles from its head and instead turned it into this constantly waving in the wind sort of normal type coloured shimmering hairstyle. Rillaboom already has some rocking hair so we go like Finn from Adventure Time with long locks but the rest of the body also was something I struggled with till it hit me. Instead of being our rocking out wild haired monkey drummer what if instead Rilla becomes a debonair fancy lad? The parts of Rillaboom's body that work sort of like I guess muscles would easily be adapted into kind of a tuxedo like suit with cuffs and buttons and a big bow tie like he's ready to go to some kind of gala. No not gala, gala. To top it all off I went with a pose of it winking and brushing its hair up. Terra Rillaboom is a pure normal type, no grass here anymore. Their beautiful shimmering locks of hair always waves like there's wind blowing even when there isn't wind, and it's got a haughty nature to boot. He definitely uses shampoo and conditioner for that lustrous sheen. Alright, Gen 5 time, and let's go for Embor. I've slowly come to really love Embor since drawing them a lot more. In fact, Gen 5 starters are just kind of awesome, even if their typings aren't the best or stats. Ambor gets the electric terror type. Uh, part of me feels like it's in relation to the fact that they use electricity to humanely dispatch of pigs for food. They've actually made an unreleased type swap of Grumpig with that idea, but it's old and it was ugly, so it won't get released. Yeah, I've got my own beta Pokemon. I'm not going to be leaking them anytime soon. In other pig news, Ambor's electric terror type, for my idea, was very super silly. Its hands kind of grow into these almost light bulb looking shapes, which would fit really well into the crystalline look of the terraforms as they glow and shimmer just like a light bulb. I also added in a pattern that kind of looks like the filaments for the light bulb as well. I decided to remove the fiery mane and make it into this sparking crystal. I know, it was kinda unintentional to make Ambor here look so smug, but it just works so well for someone who's terrestrialized to avoid a super effective attack against them to make that face. Now I want to do a Terra type form video for all the most famous Terra Pokemon in VGC. Some kind of super fairy flutter main, here we go! Terra Ambor becomes pure electric or possibly electric fire type and gains a sparking Saiyan mane as well as large electric light globe hands for some shocking Terra electric punches. Bug Samurot Terra, huh. Well, okay then, this one I thought would have been the most challenging one as adding bug to anything, well, not a bug, just doesn't really work very well. But this one just worked out so well. Let me pitch it to you in the easiest way possible. Bug Shell. That's it, yeah, like, that's the whole thing. What if Samurott's shell took on a more bug look to it and got that terror shine? That's all we need. Because Samurott is, you know, a samurai, I thought I could utilize the horn a bit more for the terror form. So instead of it pulling out that shell blade, the actual horn of Samurott looks a bit like a samurai's crest. It also takes on a bit of an axe-like shape, so it can wildly swing it about just like a rhino beetle itself. But now his shell is so big and heavy that he can't even stand up on two legs anymore if he needs it. I thought it was pretty big brain for me to give him the mustache that turns it into like a insect's mandible. Although much like me, Samurott looks like he doesn't really enjoy having his mustache shaped and played with like that. Oops, sorry. Sorry Samurott. Only thing I would have changed for this would have probably been giving some fake eye holes at the top of the bug shell there. But it also might have made it look a bit too much like just a normal terror hat then. Terra Samurott is a bug terror type, or maybe bug water terror type. No more shell samurai swords here, or only a big axe horn to swing about with its disgruntled face. 
We're going to finish off with Gen 3 here and start with our good friend, who's not a rabbit anymore. If you know, you know, Swampert, who was given the poison terratype in its raid. This was the first one I did of all these designs, and I went with a sort of mix between regular and mega Swampert, but put my own spin on it here. I would say, with all these, I did jump a bit between completely different designs and sticking to their normal designs with some terror aspects sprinkled into them. But I do kind of like the sort of variety it brings by doing this. Mega Terra Swampert here keeps that beefy mega body, but also keeps the crest of normal Swampert. Although now they're going to be a glimmering poison crystal. Glamora is screaming right now as I steal their thunder. This Terra one feels so water poison Terra, but again, maybe dual type Terras would suck. I'm not a competitively minded enough individual to really chime in on it, so don't take any of the typing ideas as gospel here. I like the idea of the poison gems on their arms as being kind of able to shatter and coat the hands of Swampert, so their punches would poison enemies. I don't know, I really think that all these are some of the best pieces of Pokemon art I've done yet. Terra Swampert gets the Poison Terra type, or Poison Water, perhaps. Their Poison Crystals can coat their bodies and unleash a toxic attack on their foes. At this point, we've all seen the sort of weird Latias Blaziken fusion Pokemon we saw quite a while ago, along with the Beta Torchic. Well, there has been some more visions of this Pokemon sighted out in the wild, and it sparked something in me. And it seems Blaziken getting the flying terror type in game might have been a slight nod towards this. I don't know. No mod to you, game freak. So the idea is laid bare a Blaziken that takes on a bit more of a look towards that of the beta form, where it would be constantly flying in the air like those old flying models of Charizard and Salamence and the like, who were just stuck there floating like a seagull in strong winds. I thought it'd be pretty slick to have it so that just the wings of Blaziken, the sort of pronged bits here were the parts that were glowing with the Terra energy. Even though it's flying Terra type, it'd still stay red, which this one might be the only one that'd have a bit of difficulty telling what type it'd be unless the game outwardly told you so. But I mean, the floating in air is sort of a giveaway as well. Another controversial opinion of mine is that I think the Blaziken Latius form is kind of cooler and more of my preference than Blaziken or Latius kind of split apart. I just don't like this kicking chicken much, I'm sorry. Terra Blaziken gets the Flying Terra type, or Flying Fire, or maybe even Flying Fighting. They're able to fly in the sky on wings of Terra energy for as long as the effect lasts, and they'll speed around the sky with not a care in the world. A bit of a shorter one this time, but what do you think? Comment your thoughts below and if I should make more of these terraforms, especially VGC terraforms. Well, the looks of them, not actual mechanics of anything. I don't want you guys getting mad at me about that. And don't forget to like the video and sub to the channel for more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. You'd really give me your hair? Sure.